Well, how do the charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves? Now, people, I have encountered a bit of a problem. If I try and put down anything at my base, it says cannot build construction limit reached. Now, you're probably looking at this teeny tiny little mud hut and thinking, how can you have reached your base maximum part count? Well, it's across all saves. It counts all of your saves into one, people. So, firstly, I need to quit out to the main title screen and see if there's any game saves that I can get rid of. So let's do that, because that gets rid of a whole load of bases all at once. So let's quit to mode select. Let's go back out to the main screen. Let's hit play and let's have a look. So I've got my create, I've got my main save, which is 1,300 hours. I don't want that to go nowhere. My creative save, which has got some really cool bases in, which I don't really want to go anywhere either. I've got my light no sky save, which has got my character on that that I kind of want to keep. Then I've got this one, which I'm not too sure what that actually is. Oh, that was that was the light no sky season two. So I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that one. That one can go. There's not many bases in there. Maybe maybe only bought I uh, built maybe three or four bases there. Then I've also got my relax save, which was 17 hours. Now I started a new save when they introduced relaxed mode for new starters. Also hitting up relaxed mode. I got a bit bored in relaxed mode. I like to just juggle in between normal and creative, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm building bases, I'm in creative mode. If I'm out there gallivanting around, I'm usually in normal mode. OK, so I can get rid of that one as well. I can get rid of my relaxed save. Good. OK, I want to keep my permadeath save. That's how I managed to platinum the game. I've got fond memories there. So now let's jump back into my save and I should be able to start building again. So that's the first way that you can get around this error if you've got this error at home. OK, John, so the other way to get around this error or issue is to go into the base teleporter terminus up in the Nexus and teleport to each of your bases in turn and delete all the ones that you don't want anymore, people. So we'll probably be doing that in a moment, but let's just see if I can now build at this base. Where is it? It's just here. So the thing that I wanted to put here was a teleporter and then I wanted to wire everything together. It wouldn't even let me wire stuff, people. So let's jump on over into game. Let's see if we can put the teleporter in, shall we? No, look, it still says construction limit has been reached. So on this save, I must have hit my construction limit. So in that case, I want to go up to the Nexus, up to the Spatial Anomaly, and I'm going to use the teleporter from there because then I get the quick return method to go and hit lots of bases one after the other. So... It looks like I've maxed out my part count on this actual save itself, which I don't think I've ever done before. Because you get you get a maximum part account across all your saves. Then you get your individual save part count amount as well. Fun times. Well, my days. What happened there? I think a ship hit my ship. It went all freaking funny, didn't it? Like, I don't know, multicolored, like a textiles or something. Anyway, I'm playing on PlayStation 5 at the moment, people. I'm going to head on over, teleport over, and I'm going to go to bases one at a time. OK, here we go. Let's head on over this way. Teleport up here. Zoom. And heading over here. Right. Now, the thing that doesn't help too much on my PlayStation save is I've got a lot of images that are corrupt, like my big portal base there, my boy Zoid, Kraken Scorpion. A lot of these I want to keep. The Everything Farm, that's got a lot of parts and I never visit it. We're going to go there. We're going to get rid of it, even though I've got fond memories of it, people. Right. Well, we've arrived, Kated. Now, the main reason that I'm going to delete this base is because up on my freighter, I pretty much grow every plant anyway. So I don't overly need this one. So here we go. Let's get rid of it. And delete base. Chicka boom! You're gone, base. Gone, diddly and gone. Okey pokey. Totally takey. And then from the actual main menu here, I've got the return to Nexus. So then I can just go back up to the terminus upstairs where I just was, pick the next one. Okay. NMSA portal base. May as well keep that one. 
that's in the Rosampla galaxy, so I wouldn't mind getting back there again. The Living Glass Farm, this was on an icy planet, and it was a git of a planet. Okay, now I've arrived at this. Now, you're probably going to think, Captain Steve, you can't get rid of that base. Look at all that frost crystal there. It's a pretty cool base. It really is. Yeah, I do like all the snow effects here now. That's pretty darn sweet, actually. My, uh, it's a git of a planet. You see what I mean? It's just stormy all the time here. It's good for getting storm crystals, I suppose, but that, that's got to go, hasn't it? So let's get rid of that one. Delete base. Chicka boom. Now, when I was doing the light no sky challenge with Ricey and Professor Cynical and all that, something I noticed is when we deleted our bases, when we went back there a day or two later, we could still see the base, even though we had deleted it. There is some squiffiness going on with the servers and how things are written to them and leaving residual sort of imprints. I'm hoping this doesn't cause the issues to still remain after deleting these bases. OK, so my dream home, that's like a mock up of what I want to build in the Philippines one day. So I'd leave that one there. Containment fishing resort. I've heard that the uh, Pulse fishing resort areas no longer work. So might as well get rid of that one. I suppose it doesn't hurt to do this sort of like mini sort of culling because I guess it's going to shrink your save file size. Now, if they do implement some sort of cloud save feature to Hello Games' server, making my save as small and as compact as possible might be a good idea for multiple reasons. Delete base! Goodbye base! I guess. Quite a snazzy planet, that one. Very unusual. Yes. It was unusual before the world's update. It's still unusual now. I do like putting bases on unusual planets, and this one was definitely that. I mean, look at it. It's freaking weird. OK, let's go. Righty ho there, chums. Right, so I have deleted, what, four bases maybe? Some of them fairly complex. Some of them with quite a lot of assets on. So let's just go back to that base where I had the actual error, and let's see if that's now fixed it. I mean, I do want to delete more. But I can do that in my own time, I suppose. I mean, this video is just to help you guys and the view of us if you've got this issue. OK there, chums. Well, I'm back. Let's see if we can put in the teleporter now, shall we? Here we go. And it looks like I can. So I'm just going to stick the teleporter in there. Well, it moved at the last second, but I'd have to do. And now I can wire it all together, which before I couldn't even use the wires. So there you go. That has actually fixed it now, people, which is great. And I'm just going to wire all these together. Lovely, lovely. Oh, that's not actually connected. There you go. Now it is. OK, right. I think that's all of them connected, to be honest. And there's enough there's enough carbon on here to power this up. But there we go. It's got power anyway. Where's my base computer gone? I can upload this one now. Lovely jobs. Well, I could give, do have given it a name as well, couldn't I? OK, one minute a second. OK, this isn't far from a portal, so I'm just going to upload that base now. And I might actually delete my very, well, the one that I always use, my big purple, purple portal planet, because I think this one's nicer anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to be going and doing that, deleting all my old sort of save points and all that sort of shenanigans. Can I return to the Nexus still? Oh, I can. Brilliant, eh? Well, chums. I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching. Hopefully that's managed to fix your own issue, if you've had that issue before. Or if you know somebody else that's got that issue, then there you go. There's a lovely little video. See somebody asking for help above that issue on social medias, on the Reddits or the Facebooks. You can send them it. Yeah, lovely little video. Straight to the point. No messing. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Captain Steve, Captain Steve.